Hello, Mac here and this is my unboxing and review of Funko Pop Movies Godzilla vs. Kong more specifically of Kong with Battle Axe <laughs> So, before all the review, let's do some unwrapping and unboxing So before unboxing, I just want to say that I purchased this pop at Hobby Stock. As you can see the brand name on the protector. So let's do the unboxing. So he is quite heavy. <laughs> So here's the front of the box, the side, the back, so this line comes with a variety of Godzilla and Kong with a 10 inch Godzilla and 10, in 10 inch Kong. Here's the side, a nice box art here and on the top of the box So, without further ado, let's start the review. Let's go. So, my thoughts on this Funko Pop are first, this pop is very detailed. It's like it's not even a Funko Pop anymore, though it is for the better. And by the way, I recommend you all to watch the movie. It has an amazing plot, CGI animation, and twist. So, I chose this pop simply because of his ox bad as moments of the movie comes with this ox <laughs> so i choose this one over the other releases also i am team kong all the way because you know we filipinos always favors the underdogs <laughs> so he has great details on the fur Even the wrinkles on his face, the battle scars on his chest and on his nose. And I gotta say that I love the face of Kong here. He has that menacing look, like he's ready to take on the challenge. This is just my personal opinion or um, personal take. It's like, at first glance, you would not think that it, this is even a Funko Pop because his head and body is somehow proportioned with each other. Though I think maybe me or some of you will think that also, but it's just my personal opinion. So, his battle axe is detailed also with the color blue paint acting like it is charged 
So I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't watched the movie. So let's leave it at that way. <laughs> Now for the comparison with the source material or in this case with the movie. Here is the comparison with the head and the face. Now the pose. And lastly, his battle axe. So Kong stands with approximately four and a half, maybe four and a half inches. So he falls to the standard height of a Funko Pop. Now let's compare him with some other Funko Pops that are also strong individuals. So first with Brotor, so he stands taller than Brotor. Greatest basketball player of my generation, LeBron James. So <laughs> it's like LeBron, LeBron's Funko Pop is smaller than Kong's. Funko Pop. Now let's compare him with other toys. My Sendo Chibi figure from Slam Dunk Anime. And lastly, my crossbone super deformed Gundam. <laughs> It's like <laughs> they are on a battle. <laughs> So my final thoughts are there are varieties of Godzilla versus Kong Funko Pops to choose from. So I just hope that they will release a glow in the dark version of these Funko Pops like this one the Kong with battle axe. So it will be a nice addition if the axe is a glow in the dark and this one here. The Heat Ray Godzilla. It will be a nice addition to your collection of Funko Pops if they will make it a glow in the dark. I think that's it for this unboxing and review of Funko Pop movies Godzilla vs. Kong, more specifically of Kong with Battle Axe. So I'm just waiting for the local Funko Pop stores. Here in the Philippines to release the Godzilla with heat ray to match with this one. Oh, before I end this vlog, I just want to shout out my girlfriend for hooking me up with this light that I'm using right now. So shout out Baby Zanny and belated happy birthday. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, collect toys and good memories. Thank you.